good morning and welcome to today's video my name's emma make sure you stick around i do all sorts of uploads as well as home stuff i also do a weekly vlog and disney chats and hauls and all sorts of bits and pieces and welcome to our loft office makeover video so we call this top top this is the top floor in our house um, it's used as an office it's also used as a storage space because we don't have a loft so this is where we keep all our bits and pieces you know Christmas decorations Halloween decorations craft supplies for the children anything like that is also kept up here as well as me working I work from home and at the moment my husband is also working from home so we like to have kind of like a dedicated office space so this video I will do a little before um, show you what the room was like before and also kind of there's a bit in the middle where we've got the wallpaper up but the carpet's not here and then finally what it looks like at the end I really hope you enjoy this video I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and also I would love it if you would give a thumbs up I will see you in the comments and I will be back in another few days for another video enjoy here is our office beforehand you got some nice slim Stairs. we have some red bold choice carpet it's actually really nice carpet but just not the color that I like um, we've done this at the back so I'll just put a bit of light on it's quite dark up here and we've got this at the back which is the main section at the moment this is where um, I work we have a bed settee we have a little, little chair over here that was inherited from my nan in there is a cupboard full of Christmas stuff. Over here is like a little area for clothes storage. So we've got coats and totes and hangers and mini ears and all sorts of things. The world's biggest desk is ginormous. Where I work, so I'm hoping to get a smaller desk. And then in here is the storage storage it's like a big massive it goes right right to the back um, and so this is our loft area we're hoping to get like a door and then this is our um this is our like working environment so the aim is at the moment to get the back wall wallpapered we might even put some wall we might even put carry on the wallpaper here and sure and i'd like a smaller desk sort this area out i mean even that bit there could be wallpaper it might that might be quite nice oh i've my belly just went off funny because i'm so excited um steven's got white paint to paint the ceiling um and also if we don't want to use the wallpaper we've also we were sent this we've got um some nice pink paint for some bits as well that matches the wallpaper so this is the wallpaper um i'm not sure if you can see it it's got like squirrels and rabbits again this is sent to us by lick they asked us to pick a wallpaper that's really really nice but we've never hung wallpaper before so it will be interesting but when the carpet eventually comes that's going to be like a pale gray so pale gray pink with the couch pink bluey greeny wallpaper um, and I'm really looking forward to see how it turns out. My first job before Stephen gets started, today I'll be obviously looking after the children downstairs. Um, I'm going to take all my precious bits off to make sure that they um, remain precious and don't get wrecked. And all the bits and pieces off my desk as well and off the wall, just to make sure that everything I love, all my work stuff is nice and kind of safe. So that's my job that I'm going to do now. Okay, today is the day that we're getting our carpet delivered. Stephen has removed most of the furniture. That couch cannot begin to express to you how heavy that couch bed settee thing is. So that's, we can't move that. Um, this is the wallpaper up. I can't remember if I filmed that. Also, we've gone for white and it's very pale pink. That possibly isn't showing up. Maybe we should have gone for a darker pink. I'm not sure. Um, but you can see that it's actually, careful I don't fall down the stairs, it's actually like, it's a really big room. 
the joy of painting with no knowing you're getting rid of the carpet though Steve was like this is brilliant it's a really big room but it's just a very strange shape um this area here now we've took everything out of it oh you can't really tell because we've got this it's actually quite a big good space but again a really strange shape <laughs> So when the carpet comes, oh, I can't believe I'm so excited for when this carpet comes. I'm just like, ah, I don't know why I'm so excited. It's been such a long time since we've ever had a new carpet in a house, I think. Did we have, we didn't even have any in the old new carpet in the old house. Just had the same carpet. So um, I'm looking forward to going by maroon carpet. Um, but yeah, I love this. Um, and we've gone for pink along here. Oh, you can see it better here. Pink along here as well. So when, I, when the canoe carpet's in, Stephen and I are going to really like sit and think about how we're going to put the furniture back. I wish I could get you all here to help me because I know that you're all like shouting at the, the screen saying, I know a good way to do it. So we will do that I'm very excited and if you are a new um subscriber hello welcome this storage here which is like lockable we have lots of storage bags um for things like halloween decorations um we go on disney holidays we're like big disney um kind of lovers of disney so there's like storage bags in there that have got like disney clothes and stuff so um, this goes all the way down there so this is a really handy little um space and in here this is christmas christmas it's a bit dark sorry this is all our christmas decorations so this is only kind of open once a year or actually quite neatly organized so christmas and like wrapping paper for birthday presents so we just shut that Bye bye Christmas. So here we go. Here is the completed office. I'm really excited to show you around. I'm taking my shoes off, my slippers off, because I just want bare feet on this carpet. I think I will start at the back end and then work my way forward. So this little area here has remained slightly unchanged we have to have a rail for our coats i have swapped the big baskets out for per um there were purple ones so i've swapped them for um ikea like laundry baskets so everything's nice away this here has just got our disney ears on i will probably i might get spray paint and perhaps spray paint it white so it looks a bit better just a nice bag and this made me laugh i did a job once and i had to style some clothes and I just thought that was fun just a little corner you may remember on a vlog that I said I think at some point this will be one of the kids bedrooms and I imagine this area to be like bookcases and bean bags and stuff so I didn't want to kind of put loads of stuff in that we weren't going to use but this is fine this loft is also a storage area as well as an office and we have to bear that in mind so moving over we kept these drawers and we've actually just popped them here, which is so much easier for us to be able to get in and out of this section to get our coats. This just has in sheets, it has in towels, just, you know, general family storage. And on the top, I have just put some of my awards, um, just little memories, really, um, awards. My friend had me this May when I got 10,000 subscribers. My book, um, my sister and I went to visit Billund, which is where Lego is. So just just some nice memories. When I um, published my book, my publisher made me this frame. So just, you know, just some cute little bits and bobs. Here we just have got where I keep my tripods. And here, not my boobs, <laughs> just a picture. Here is the storage. And thanks so much for your suggestions. I love the idea of like kind of a bookcase. I think I'm currently torn between a curtain that goes across or if we could get some sort of drawer 
that is on wheels so we could put it here we could use it for whatnot and then move it out that would be really good so if you ever see anything like that definitely let me know but at the moment at the front we've got the kids um craft drawers we've got paper we've got my um gift box where i put you know have presents and stuff here we've got um the kids reward boxes and this is for any brand work i'm working on if i get sent anything i like to pop it in that box so i know where it is so this area i know it's not perfect guys but it's a loft and it needed to be a bit messy another little funny area of the room and you're like emma what on earth is that chair this chair came from my nanny joyce's house my nanny joyce passed away um a year ago just over a year ago and this was a chair from her house and we've never really had anywhere for it to fit in the house kind of it doesn't really go in any of the kids bedrooms or downstairs so i've just put it here and it's gonna have our printer it's got a laminator underneath and it's just i don't know just a nice memory i was tempted to paint this white as well so let me know what you think about that the couch is in pretty much the same position as it was before i just bought a couple of new pillows oh no just one new pillow actually yeah just one new pillow from dunelm um the kids uh got me this when we went to disneyland paris once with steve um, and then underneath we've got two big storage boxes one is for equipment and one is for memories so equipment has just got like microphones and tripods and all sorts of bits and bobs like that um i have just got this disney pin board i i've been thinking guys about making this a big giant disney display getting a big pin board for it but i'm i've just i'm just thinking about it at the moment i've just got my pins here here is just something from when i had a book launch and um i have <laughs> the kids like it looks like it's gonna fall off it's um command strips to the wall so it should be all right over here we have the same drawers that i had before i did do a video where i organized them so they are all nicely organized with just um stationery and stuff and this is just kind of like a free-for-all not only for my office stuff but also for the children if they need anything for school or when we were homeschooling during last year it was really good because they could just pop up and get belts kept the same folders um these are just receipts finance <laughs> stuff to do with my mugs and i think too exciting but you know when you run your own business you have to keep on top of all the tax and stuff here i've got this white company candle um which is from the old house and it's like a i think it's like rose or something and my friend allison bought me that and then here is my little desk area the wallpaper that stephen put up looks absolutely brilliant he did such a good job for his first attempt i mean i couldn't have done better i really it would have been terrible not only is it a triangle it's like got like a step in it um so we used one roll and then we did run out <laughs> um so we got another roll there was a big square at the bottom but it looks i think it looks really nice it's really bright it's really colorful if you're new here like i love animals i love autumn and I just think it's great and here is the desk so if you remember from earlier the desk we had was absolutely massive and then some of you left in the comments because you lost are better than google some of you left in the comments you're like you can just get a different top and we were like what so we went to ikea and this top i think was six pounds and we just put it on top of the legs i think the legs are a bit big to be honest the other one came out a bit more but it's perfect it fits in really nicely i love having the legs because we can have i've got like a little box that's from Denel that's like three quid for pads one for plugs over there and it's just really nice the sun comes in i picked up a couple of plants this plant here was from asda and i popped it in a Denel um what they're called <laughs> pot <laughs> over here this pot also is now the plant was from as and if you're looking for a plant that's really difficult to kill these are brilliant plants um, mother-in-law's tongue they're absolutely great 
And on my desk we have, my friend Caro made me this sign um, a few years ago. I was quite poorly and she sent me that as a present. That was really lovely. I've got one of my mugs with my favourite pens. Don't even try and argue in the comments. Zebra pens are the best if you ever see them anywhere. They're always in Poundland. Pick up yourself some zebra pens. Just put this because, you know, I love a pumpkin. I love a pumpkin. We've got pumpkins. We've got um, the paperback and hardback copy of my book, just because I'm super proud. My blue glasses um, to work on the computer. So that's nice. A uh, picture of the kids, one from Stephen and I when we went to UK Blog Awards. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is on my, I saw this on my friend Beth's um, Insta stories. And what it is, it's just like a little holder. So it's really just easy if you want to listen to music or I don't know, just FaceTime somebody or whatever. That's really good. Here, I command stripped um, a plug thing to my desk. I've did that before and it's just really handy to plug things in. Plug chat with Emma, let's make that a podcast. <laughs> Over here I've got a few more little bits and pieces. I've got um, a piece of art that um, a lovely follower's um, husband, or no, husband, yeah they're married, husband did for me, the Urban Giant, which I love. Never Give Up is a sign I bought off Etsy. This is a picture of me and Mickey from Disneyland Paris, which I just love. These, um, Erin actually made these for me. We got these, again, I got these from Billund here, um, in Denmark where Lego is made. I just got a little tray with some, um, I mean, this is just for aesthetics. It won't look this nice. Just a couple of pads and some hand cream and my laptop and the chair is old Amazon and the chairs are what we have everywhere. We've got them in the dining room. Erin's got one in her bedroom, so they're great chairs, really ch cheap and easy to put together. So guys, there we go. Is it perfect? Well, no, because we have the mess. But is it perfect for me? Yes. I'm really happy. The colour of the carpet is so gorgeous. I think at some point in the future this will make a really beautiful bedroom for one of the children and then I'll do a whole other video of me having an office downstairs. But for the moment, it's a really nice space. I can have friends to come over and come and work on the couch. Um, you know, we do activities on the floor here. Um, Erin loves doing her homework at the back. It's just really nice and peaceful. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. much for watching this video guys and if you've got to the end yay you're brilliant it would be amazing if you gave this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the comments and i will be back in another few days for another video love you lots bye guys